Kingdom. Focus. Hey, Kingdom family, Reverend Rush. And Reverend Erica. And we're back again with another opportunity for us to look at God's word and study God's word uh, as we get ready to round out this year uh, and as we get ready uh, to see what God has new for us. Uh, it's always good to look at God's word. And so we're still looking at parables of Jesus. So we're looking at uh, the gospel according to Matthew, Matthew uh, chapter 13, uh, and we're going to read verse 44. Matthew uh, 13, verse 44, and it says, uh, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again. And then in his joy went and sold all he had and purchased the field. He bought the field because he saw that there was a treasure there. Um, obviously, not obviously, but the understanding is that uh, Jesus is equating us being the treasure, uh, is equating, uh, can be equating uh, his life uh, for the what the man sold it for because he knew it was that valuable. Uh, but I want to ask you the question, uh, are you a hidden treasure? Uh, are you uh, something that you know God values? And the answer has to be yes. And so if the answer is yes, then you have to cherish yourself and take care of yourself as if you are a hidden treasure. Read this text again. The man, once he saw it, he hid it again and he didn't steal it because he could have just taken it, but he didn't want to take it. He wanted to pay for it outright. And can I tell you, beloved, uh, over 2000 years ago, that's what Jesus did for us. He wanted to pay for us outright with all of our mess, with all of our issue, with all of our stink, with all of our stuff. He still wanted to pay for us outright. And if Jesus holds that level of value on us, we need to hold that level of value on us. As we end out this year, as we think about gifts and giving gifts and getting gifts, understand the value that God has in us. Mm -hmm. That was really good. The only thing I'd add is that it speaks to the joy he had when he returned yes. after paying for this plot of land, right? This property that now he's purchased. There's a joy associated with that relationship with God. Yeah, there true. can be, there should be a joy. And so I encourage you in this holiday season while we're celebrating all that is celebration worthy, pause to reflect upon the joy it is to know Jesus and to know that he values us so very much yeah. above and beyond whatever price tag we could put to it. Jesus values us. Amen. Let's pray. God, we thank you for this time and this moment. We thank you, God, for the value that you put in us. We thank you, God, for the treasure mm -hmm. that you have uh, deemed us to be. Pray now, God, that you'll also allow us to know the treasure that you are in our lives. Pray, God, for our brother, our sister. God, these are your sons and your daughters. God, we pray, God, that you'll allow them, Lord God, to dig deep and see the value that you have on their lives. God, and if someone does not know the value, God, that you will be able to speak uh, through them, Lord God, speak to them, rather, God, the value that you have. Yes. Pray, God, that you will keep. Pray, God, that you will bless. Pray, God, that you will do, God, what only you can do in and through our lives. We thank you and we love you. It's in the name of your son, Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior, that we pray. And we said amen. 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 Thank you all for getting on today. Don't forget about getting on uh, next week. Don't forget to comment, to like, to subscribe, to share. Don't forget to hit notify on here. Uh, it's on YouTube. Hit, no, hit notify <laughs> so that you can get uh, the messages as soon as they pop up. Uh, you'll be able to get them. We normally load uh, these on Saturday, so you'll be able to get them then. Uh, looking forward to seeing you soon as we always remain kingdom. Focused. God bless.